Whitewater in Iowa? You better believe it. This unique city park has all the fixings for your next adventure. Are you dreaming of an adventure with your family, but the hurdles of planning a trip stand in your way? Let us take the guesswork out of it for you. From where to go and where to park, to what to expect and what to pack, we have you covered. Let us help you experience an outdoor adventure made easy. The Manchester Whitewater Park is located in Manchester, Iowa in Delaware County. Open to the public in 2015, this city park replaced the low head dam with six different drops or water features. This is better for the aquatic habitat, including the fish, is safer than the undertow that comes with a low head dam, and is just more fun. Located at 300 West Main Street in Manchester, the city has a wonderful shower house and shelter just off the parking lot. The shelter has built-in air compressors so you can save your breath when inflating your tubes. It also has four individual restrooms and an outdoor shower. The six different features stretch for 800 feet and go under two different bridges. There are three rapids, then the river makes a 90 degree turn, passes under the Marion Street Bridge, has three more rapids, then under the railroad bridge, you will find the takeout. The first rapid is a larger drop, which my family enjoyed going through multiple times. The next two rapids are a little more beginner friendly, but it can be easy to be pulled out of the current and into the side eddy. The last three rapids are in close proximity and seem to have more of a drop. These three are fun to go through and feel more exciting as you have less recovery time in between. After going through all six features, you can get out at the small sandy beach under the railroad bridge and use the cement sidewalk to take yourself back to the beginning. Near the shelter in the free life jacket station, there is a small little playscape, which is great for when part of your group is ready to be done and the other part wants to keep floating. Things to know. Be safe. This is still a river. Although the area was designed without any dangerous undertow currents, this is still a river and care should be taken. We chose not to wear helmets while we were at the Whitewater Park, although others do. Know the water levels. The water levels can fluctuate greatly. Be sure to check the river levels ahead of time. Most recently, we went through at 82 cubic feet per second with a gauge height of 3.8 feet. The link to check the river levels is in the description of the video. The City of Manchester website suggests tubers and recreational kayakers go at 250 cubic feet per second or less. Be considerate. This is a multi-use park, so be courteous of kayakers, stand-up paddleboarders, and fishermen and women. Avoid the weekends. This can be a busy place in the summer months. We went midweek and didn't have to worry too much about the crowds. Read the river. This is a good chance to educate your kids, and maybe yourself, on river currents. An eddy is the back current caused by moving water. Once through the rapids, if you want to do the same rapid again, swim to the side and get into the eddy, which will pull you back to the start. If you are going down with a group, make sure someone doesn't get stuck in an eddy while everybody else continues on. What to wear. We wore life jackets, swimsuits, sturdy water shoes, and sunscreen. I also use my waterproof phone case. In the vehicle, we had towels, a change of clothes, snacks, and water. We have run the rapids in our recreational kayaks, but it proved to be a lot of work by the time you empty out all the water that gets in and then carry them back to the beginning. For us, tubes seem to work the best. If you want to rent gear, Check out the City of Manchester's website where they keep updated information about rentals and equipment. Bonus stop. While you are in the area, be sure to stop at Backbone State Park. Dedicated in 1920, this is Iowa's first state park, and it's no wonder why. Backbone State Park has a never-ending list of things to explore, including a cave, Richmond Springs, the CCC Museum, an awesome campground, and our personal favorite, the Backbone Trail. 
Backbone State Park is only 15 minutes from the Whitewater Park. This was a perfect adventure for a hot summer day. Be sure to ride the waves in the Manchester Whitewater Park. Looking for other adventures around the Midwest? Be sure to follow us at Outdoor Adventures Made Easy on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.